Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Subhashish Mishra and today's topic of discussion is on detail. Now before we start, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, share and turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever any new video gets uploaded as I am constantly uploading videos on machine learning and data science. Now let's get started. So before we start, as we have already studied in the theoretical session of the feature importance that t-test is the kind of test that we usually do whenever we have to know that whether the sample that we have selected is the perfect replica of the population. So what happens if in the real time scenario, we usually have tons of data and sometimes we have not the compatibility of the machine to run the entire set of data that we have. In that case, we usually take a sample of the data and we think that the sample that we have taken is the perfect replica of the population. If that is, then we can do the analytics solution for the sample and we can imply it on the population saying that whatever the analytics solution that we are getting from the sample is also present in the population. So in that case, how we can be able to understand whatever the sample that we have selected is the perfect replica of the population. In that case, t-test is pretty much handy for that. Now let's go to the Jupyter notebook and understand it practically how we can be able to implement the t-test analysis to know that whether the data that we have collected as a sample is the perfect replica of the population or not. So here, you, here we are in the Jupyter notebook. Let's try it out. Okay. So here let's take the population is it's a, a, a randomized data that we have created on our own. It's not a real data. So here the population is we have created is like uh, the minimum is is 18. The maximum is is 75 and the we want thousand number of records as the population. So once that is being created, we can see the population data. Okay. So once we have the population data, we have taken a sample of 100 people is from the population. So once we have the sample from uh, for us, we can be able to say that, okay, let's go ahead and find out by the t-test whether the sample that we have is a perfect reflection of the population or not. So before that, we will calculate the mean of the population and mean of the sample. So the mean of the population is 45.889 and the sample is 46.33. So based on this, this although this has a very small difference, but we can be able to directly say that whether both of them are same or different. So for that, we need to do the t-test. Now here for the t-test analysis, we have to consider the hypothesis testing. So here for the hypothesis, the, what is the hypothesis? The null hypothesis says that the population and the sample we have selected are the perfect replica of each other and they don't have any difference. And the alternate hypothesis says that no, both the population and sample are completely different and they do have a difference in between them. So to find out that thing, we will be carrying out the hypothesis system. So here for the hypothesis value, we are taking the significance value as 0 0.05. That means the 5% confidence interval, which is the conventional one we usually consider for the hypothesis testing. Okay, so for that, as we are calculating one sample and one population, the relationship between them. So we need to perform the one sample t-test. So for that, we need to import the one sample t-test from the scipy.stats. So it's t-test underscore one sample. Now here inside the t-test underscore one sample, it takes two arguments. One is the sample that we have picked up. And, and the second one is the mean of the population that we have. Once we do that, we can be able to uh, see that there is a statistics value, which is nothing but the t-stats value we are getting over here. And there is also a p-value. So as we can be able to see that the p-value over here is 0.786, okay, which is way, way greater than the 0 0.05 that we have considered. So, Based on this analogy, we can be able to say that the p-value is greater than the confidence value or the 0 0.05 what we have calculated. That means both the sample and the population have the similarity in them or they are equal. 
that means we have to reject the alternate hypothesis and accept the null hypothesis and we have to say that the population and sample are the perfect replica of each other now let's discuss about the next type of uh, t test which is the two sample t test so here the in the two sample t test we basically compare two different samples to find out whether they are same or not so here the null hypothesis says that the two samples we get are from same distributions or same population but the alternate hypothesis says that the two samples are from different distribution or different population now let's find it out that which one is true based on the two sample t test okay so here we have created the second sample as we have already one sample is sample underscore age so here we have created the second sample and the second sample also has the uh, size of 600 uh, now once we have that we have the two samples available over here okay now let's find out the mean of the second sample so the mean of the second sample is 58.6 now let's do the two test two t test okay so for the two t test the library where you have to import from scipy.stats is t test underscore ind so what it takes is like it takes both the samples and here we are taking another one variable as equal var which is nothing but it assumes that the sample we have have equal variant or not so here we are saying no we don't have the equal variant okay now we find out the t test so here based on the t test value that we have got it says that the statistics is the t test statistics is 0 uh, is 7 for minus 7.037 something like that and the p value over here is 1.02 up to 912 into uh, 912 e to the power minus 10 so e to the power minus 10 is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 which is 0 0.8 times 0 10 0. so we have to uh, multiply that with this one to find out the actual value so here what i what i am i have created is like it was the previously created data so here we will not be taking this one into the consideration as the p value we have got over here is different so if we have the p value which is this one up to 1 2 into 0 0.8 times 0 1 0 which is uh, then we will be getting that it will be way way less than the 0 0.05 which is the significance value that means the p value over here we have found out is way less than the significance value that means we have to reject the null hypothesis saying that the p value is way less than the 0 0.05 or the significance value hence we have to accept the alternate hypothesis and hence we have to say that the two samples that we have got over here are from different distributions or different populations all right now let's understand the third type of test t test which is the pair t test what is pair t test let's say we are in a hospital okay and the hospital is carrying out a vaccination of, of particular disease now they want to understand that the whether the vaccine has an effect of the weight of the people or not so they have uh, they have done one thing is like they have uh, calculated the weight of the people before the vaccination and after the vaccination once that is being done they have found out the they have to know that whether this they, the before and after has any difference or not so the null hypothesis says that uh, the vaccine doesn't have any effect on the weight that means whatever the weighted weight we have measured before the vaccination is same as the weight measured after the vaccination and the alternate hypothesis says no the vaccine does has a impact on the weight so the weight we have measured before the vaccination is different from the weight we have measured in after the vaccination now let's understand it by the pair t test so here we have created the data and uh, after before after we have got the difference over here okay so once we get that we usually calculate the pair t test so the pair for the pair t test 
we have a library which we will be importing from the scipy.stats is ttest underscore rel. So what it takes, it takes both the samples or both the data before the vaccination and after the vaccination. Once that is being done, the value that we are getting over here is the is minus 1.90847 something like that is the t-test value and the p-value we are getting over here is 0 0.05922 so the 0 0.059 is definitely greater than the 0 0.05 value that we have in the significance that means the vaccination that we have done doesn't have any impact on the weight value okay here I have written it wrongly. It doesn't have an impact. Weight doesn't have an impact on the vaccination. As the p value we are getting over here is greater than the significance value or the p value we have actually been prepared. Okay. So now our disclaimer, little disclaimer before we finish uh, that this sample data which has been prepared based on the pure imagination and it has no practical evidence of any kind of laboratory test okay now this concludes the details about the t testing and why we do the t test and how and which kind of t test we can be able to perform at which kind of scenario in the next session we will be discussing about the anova test and why we use that until the and I hope you are being able to understand the t-test properly. If you have any sort of doubt in your mind, you can post it in the comment section and I'll be very happy to help you out in that case. I hope you are being clear in the t-test. Uh, as we have already said that we will be discussing about the ANOVA test in the next session. Until then, stay tuned and enjoy machine learning. Thank you.